Welcome back. Now we are unboxing the Noiti, N-O-I-T-I, um, carrying case. It's a lot cheaper than a Pelican case. So I doubt the quality is going to be as good, but we're going to find out. Um, that was the box it came in. So no fancy box, just the cardboard box. Uh, it's supposed to be waterproof, and it's supposed to fit specifically the Mavic 3 Pro. So that's what I have. Um, so we'll see. Uh, right out the gate, I can see this little rubber thing, the little decal. The corners are like popped up a little bit. That's not going to last. That's what I'm talking about right here. That's going to fall off, but it's okay. Really what we're worried about is can this go in a backpack or something like that and actually protect the drone. So I was worried it was going to be like that hard foam. It's not. It's a little bit more squishy foam. This is like what you'd have in your gun case, this backing. That's nice. Um, and then this is not quite as nice as what you'd put in your gun case. Um, but it's okay. It, it, it gives. It absorbs. So that's good. It's not that stiff foam like the white traditional styrofoam so it gives a little bit so that's good comes with some um, cable ties it stinks kind of smells good but it's stinky they come with a moisture absorbent packet don't throw that away keep it in there um, yeah the wire ties are nice I don't know how I'm gonna use it in this situation so I have my drone charging and I'm impatient it's only been charging like five minutes but here's the backup battery I got. So that clearly slides in that case perfectly. Uh, there's only room for two batteries, but then you also have the battery in the drone, so you can fit probably three batteries in here, one in the drone and then two right here. And then you got side space here. This is for your cables. And then this would be for your plug-in outlet. Now these, I'm not sure what that would be for. Maybe it's for the remote control, those itty bitty little knobs that screw on. I guess you could wedge it into that if you wanted to take them off. I don't plan on taking mine off all the time though, so that's weird. But propeller blades, maybe those can fit there where the cable's supposed to go. Yeah, that might be for the cables or for the propellers. Um, so the remote control, I'm not sure which spot that's supposed to fit in. I'm assuming it's this spot. It has multiple sections um, that come out. They're not glued in. So I'm assuming I pull all of them out and now the DJI Pro um, RC part goes in right here. And that should fit snug even with the remotes. But let's actually check, let's actually check it and see. I'm having a nap problem. That was a pop from the bug light that you heard. Um, so it's joy to my ears whenever I hear a gnat die because they are annoying. Okay, I'm gonna put these on charge and then I'm gonna put the other stuff in and we'll come back check this out later. Okay, all the batteries charged. That's what it looks like actually being in there. And there's a couple of foam replacers I had to take out. This little foam insert right here came from there. So I pulled that out. And then also these ones were right here, pulled those out. And the moisture absorbent packet, I put it in there. There's a little pocket right here, perfect for that. And then room for one more battery and room for all the cables or memory cards you have extra memory cards or something. Um, this spot right here, I'm assuming that these four little holes are for these because it comes with two spares and there's two on the controller right here. Um, I don't like how loose this is. I'm afraid I'll lose it on a trail or something. Um, so I'm assuming these four holes are for those. I don't like how loose those are but then I don't like storing them here either. So I think the two spares, I'll just put them in a watertight bag maybe, and then put them down here under this, and then just make sure the ones that are on the controller are nice and snug. Obviously don't over torque them. Um, but with this foam, it, it absorbs. So, I mean, these aren't any higher than this is. So you just leave them on, 
close it with them on. And then also show you right here at this angle because the other camera's asleep. Uh, it has little locks like that. And then with that, it doesn't open. They don't feel like very strong locks. Like if someone's trying to force it open, that's gonna break it. This is more for like accidental, like, I don't know, you go into the airport and it like just hits the conveyor belt just right. Um, and it hits the button. This just keeps it from actually buttoning it. If you wanna lock it, it's got two holes right here for locking it. Now this is supposed to be waterproof. Um, I have a hard time believing that. Uh, this must be some sort of air thing. I don't know what this is. Um, but yeah, it says it's supposed to be waterproof, but I'm gonna not throw it in a lake or anything and hope I don't have a situation where I have to test if it's actually waterproof or not. Um, but yeah. For, for being like one third the price of a Pelican case, if you have the money, I would say get a Pelican case because those things are tanks, they're awesome. Um, but for one third the price, if you're on a budget, um, so far, not bad. Like the handle doesn't feel super like high, high end, but for 60 something bucks, 65, 69, something like that, can't really complain too much. There's only the two latches on the front. There's no latches on the sides. Um, but I kind of question whether or not it's waterproof. You can kind of see the gap. But while we're at it, let's, uh, so this, uh, let's see, yeah, there is a rubber seal here. Um, it's not, it's pretty rigid. It's not very squishy, so I don't know. I don't know if it is rubber. I think it's plastic actually. And then up here on the top, this part is like squishy. So that's probably the part that gets stuck to this. But water resistant, probably most definitely. Waterproof, um, experiment at your own risk. And this little decal, when it, when it falls off, who cares? I'll just put my own sticker there. I might even peel it off before it falls off and put my own sticker there because that looks good. Uh, anyways, hope this helps you deciding if you want this or not. If it did help you decide whether you want it or not, please click that it's helpful button. Thanks. Bye.